Welcome to Title Talk with your host, Drew Wishover, entrepreneur, a published author, and owner of Inspired Title Group, along with his co-host, Amy Maley. Each week, they offer you some laughs, industry terminology, tips and strategies, along with the occasional real estate professional to help educate you as it pertains to buying, selling, or just plain old homeownership. Thanks for spending time with them. Now, let's jump into today's episode of Title Talk. Welcome to Title Talk with your host, Drew Wishover, entrepreneur, a published author, and owner of Inspired Title Group, along with his co-host and CEO, Amy Maley. Each week, they offer you some laughs, industry terminology, tips and strategies, along with the occasional real estate professional to help educate you as it pertains to buying, selling, or just plain old homeownership. Thanks for spending time with them. Now, let's jump into today's episode of Title Talk. Thursday. You made it. Welcome, everybody. Sit down. Have a seat. Oh, really? Thank you. Thank you guys all. Great to be your audience here today. <laughs> Wonderful to see our guests in uh, the uh, studio here Look today. Look background. What a, well, they came to our apartment today. Don't you love the city? They came to our apartment and said, hey, you know what? We're going to just pop a squat here and, and squat. listen to you guys talk, right? <laughs> we just want to hear you guys chat pop another a squat day. Right here. Wow. This is it, folks. You're here. Today it is Title Talk. We thank you guys for uh, joining us at our, uh, I guess we'll call it our apartment today, right? Our studio apartment. Our little studio apartment. <laughs> my name is Drew. And my name is Amy. We are your fun and... Friendly. Title. Gurus. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. We are Inspired Title Group in Payless. We're also in Indiana. We thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Title Talk. We do this Every Thursday. Every Thursday is so important to us. Doesn't matter what the weather's like, we're still going to do it. We are. Weather does not stop us. You see? <laughs> you know, hurricane. Except blizz- hurricanes. Ida didn't stop us. Ida didn't. I'm going to talk about Ida today. Oh, good. Thank you for That's my, good. That's a nice little, nice little plug, nice little segue. Thank you, thank you. Hope you guys are having a, uh, a great week so far. We are. We are uh, going to chat with you guys about some... Uh, Stuff. Wonderful things today. We got a, a new game we're going to add here Ooh. today. We can't wait to... Share that I'm excited you. about this one. Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm oh, uneasy. I'm not excited. I'm uneasy about it. We'll see. We'll see what that brings. That should be uh, that should be interesting nonetheless. So, I am now wanting to carry on with the the things that I like to uh, to do, and uh, mentoring is one of them, and inspiring and motivating, uh, working into you know different aspects of. Uh, what we do here is as mm-hmm. leaders and things. So I wanted to give you guys a, a, a few of our inspirational and motivational thoughts for the day. You know, I like to call it our, our motivational minute, but mm-hmm. minutes. Uh, minutes, yeah, because it's not gonna take me minutes. a minute. I don't think like I don't think I could speak for just one minute and then walk. I mean, I I, I like to chat, I agree. right? Good, good. I agree. Thank you, thank you for. Agreeing. I don't want to make you cry again, but I'm so no, I'm, I'm right. Agree. I'm still hurt. Be careful. I'm, I'm fragile. So. Something that we like to to do here at the at the office, and and something that I, I I personally will try to do every day, is that you have the opportunity to make a difference in in the world and in yourself, and make that day meaningful. One of the things that I kind of wake up and think of is you know how can I inspire or motivate somebody today? Um, you know you're you're given a chance every day that it's a new opportunity. You got. Uh, some new thinking, some new purpose. I've really been given this gift. You know, how can I make this gift meaningful? How, what can mm-hmm. I do today to make a difference? And, and how can I impact mm-hmm. uh, the people that I'm going to come in, in contact with? Um, so really, today, I, I, I would encourage you guys, try to say no to something. Like, that's that's so difficult to do because... When when you when you you say no to something, you're really freeing yourself from from some challenges and some opportunities. It's easy to say yes, and and yes commits you to a lot of stress and pressure, and you're not being true to yourself. 
you're really living your life to fulfill happiness from giving everybody else joy. Like by saying no, give yourself that that opportunity to say no and, and really, you know, enjoy you. Because saying yes to everything, even those things that you don't want to do, and, and we so often do that, it's basically you're you're living your life for someone else. It's not fair. It's not fair to you. So try to say no to something today. Go out there and and really challenge yourself to say no. Something else here to to kind of go on with your for your day. Your moods are contagious. Share some positive energy. I think that the office would absolutely agree to when I'm up and bouncy and, and excitable, the office is too. The the infectious mood that that we bring is contagious. It really impacts how you're going to set the tone for the day. Mm -hmm. So whenever you walk through a door of a meeting or your office, you have the chance to determine how you want the people to respond to you. It's you know that energy that you give off is the energy that's going to come back to you. So they're very contagious. So be be contagious in that room. Be that positive energy in that room. So the challenge for you today is I would say, you know, Make a genuine effort saying to somebody that, hey, you know what, I thought of you today when blah. Or call somebody that you haven't talked to in, in, in a while. You know, reach out to mom and dad and say hi. Call those folks on the East Coast and just check in on them. Um, you know, you, you'll really become happier the more, the more you think about that excitement mm -hmm. that you've just brought to somebody else. Mm -hmm. So many people do inspiration or motivational speaking for themselves. Yes. Because it benefits them. Going, well, look yeah. at all the things that I shared and I did for you. Right. No. When you, when you take that you out of it, that's the most important part of that is... That's when you get something out of exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. The, the, the gain that you get was when you take the you out of this thing. So so really, I'll tell you the impact that, that just those words of, hey, I thought of you today when, boom, that person's face will light up. You will immediately oh, get a sure. smile from them doesn't really matter. It's just that you thought of them. That they, they probably didn't hear the rest of that. They heard the you thought of me part. Yeah. And it's big. So. It is. It and is. then finally, um, especially the, you know, the millennials in, in, in working through a lot of conversations with, with some of the younger generation, life's not easy. I don't know where they got this. I don't know where it came from. I don't know where... The, the conversation was was derived that life is going to be easy. Adulting is hard. It is. And responsibility. <laughs> it's, it's and all the time. budgeting. And, you know, challenges that every day brings. Don't lose hope. Life is difficult, okay? Don't lose hope. Remember what I said hope stands for. I said this in a long time ago. Hold on. Pain ends. Those are, those are really, really a great thing to put on your post-it note by your computer that... Um, you got to have some hope. You, you, you hold on, the pain will end. Um, you can do it if you want it desperately. If you want something bad enough, you, mm -hmm. you'll definitely get through this. Mm -hmm. Don't make yourself suffer by only thinking about the future. Live in the present and try to focus on the present. You get so anxious and so ramped up about what's, what's going to happen. Worry about today. So four things that can never, ever be recovered. And it's, they're... They're deeper. They, they, they have some, some real meaning to this. The stone after it's thrown, the word after it's spoken, like in the example of earlier, how these girls heard me, um, the occasion after okay, it's relax. missed, and then the time after it's gone. All those things. Once, once they've happened, you can't recover those. So I, my, my grandfather, who I just I love dearly, said to me uh, when I was in my formidable years that um, people will, will it's, it's so, they hurt you over and over again, and it happens. And he said, Drew, it's, it's, it's something like sandpaper, where they just keep scratching at you and, and picking at you and, and, and digging at you. He goes, but this is great. He goes, because you become this polished, thing because of all that sanding and he said and they become useless he did like wow it's pretty brilliant and i 
I've written that. I, I've, I've spoken that so often. Like, that just sits in me. And it's hard to recollect that at the time oh, yeah. when you need it. But all those things you, you survive and live through. So here's a challenge for the week. All of those things you hear and all of those things that, that prompt you to, you know, avoiding things, do something in this next week that you are uncomfortable with. Step outside the boat, walk in the water. You can do this if you put your head to it. Trust yourself to be comfortable in the uncomfortable. It is, I'll tell you, it is so fulfilling when you achieve that. When you accomplish the ability to accept that fear of stepping out of the boat and knowing that it's going to be okay. I'm going to, I'm going to go, I don't, I, I'm afraid of the water, the depth and what's going to happen. It's going to be okay. Just trust in it. So those are some of my uh, inspirational quotes and moments for you guys to, to take away. I, I hope that, I hope you heard them. I hope that there, there's something that maybe resonates within you and, and, and hopefully it's something that you guys could, um, you know, share with some of your family and friends and, and more importantly, even utilize mm-hmm. and, and uh, apply to your own lives. So. There are some of my little motivational minutes. Thank you. That's great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, it was really good. That. that sandpaper one was cool. Yeah, that's. Thank you, Grandpa. I Grandpa wish that. over. Yeah, it was many a year ago. So many a year. Oh, we're hiring. We are. We are hiring. We are blessed to say that we are busier now than we've ever been. Um, which is something incredible to say with all the said you know, part that a bunch of these small businesses if it, yeah. businesses have been having to close down and stuff, but somehow we are really busy. <laughs> um, so we yes. are in the process of trying to grow our team. We are. We are looking for escrow closers. We are looking for an administrative assistant. We are looking for an office assistant. We are looking for Anyone with, with a pulse, any, <laughs> anyone who is excited and wants to learn something great. It, the one thing I will say about this company is the amount of opportunities and the diff- yeah. amount of different paths you could take in this is overwhelming. Yeah, <laughs> like, there there's a lot. Yeah, there's a lot. A lot. Um, so if you're looking for anything, we will be happy to sit down and talk to you. Um, yeah. It's a great place to work. It's a fun day. It's never dull. It's no, it's just it's a it's it's a really fun, great place to work. We have great staff and um, we'd love to sit down and chat with you and see if it's a good fit. Definitely give, uh, you know, family, friends, if, if you know anybody that is that is looking, if they're if you guys are, are working through an internship and you're, you're looking to kind of step into something else, looking to uh, maybe try a different uh, or exper- explore a, a, a different life choice. Uh, come on out here. I mean, what, what we do on this show, what we bring and what we share is who we are in real life. This is not, you know, uh, we spend some time in, in preparing and we discuss our, our opportunities of what we want to do. However, this is really who we are in an office setting. We are we are very, very uh, leadership oriented. We are we are we have a tremendous uh, passion for growth and and really community. I think those are some of the core values that we've really mm-hmm. started to kind of hone in on. So I think it's really important to to mention those things to, you know, we want to work with people that we align with. And, 100%. You know, if there's somebody out there that you're looking, to, uh, that, that is looking for an opportunity, uh, as Amy said, give give Amy a, a holler, contact her. Her uh, information will be uh, at the end of the show will be out there and uh or you can you know call the scrolling number ahead and <laughs> ask for amy and yes. she will absolutely engage in a conversation with you to uh set up an appointment etc so uh come on by and we'd love to have you now moving on wow wow this guy wrote a book <laughs> Wow. Look at she's cracking herself up Brittany, back there. She, Brittany adding on I, to the book piece. And, I feel like she did this on two hours of sleep, yeah, and so everything is yeah. just... <laughs> this is great. This is what happens when you ask Brittany to come in a little bit earlier today because you need a hand. <coughs> she goes out and just blasphemes your facial expressions and adds some fun and humor. But you know what? If you can't laugh at yourself, who can you laugh at? I wrote a book. I did. I did indeed. It is called The Two-Hour Difference, and it is... Some of the things that I just I, I speak about in the in the motivation stuff, some of the things I talk about in my inspirational minutes and such, these are, are things that really inspired me to write the book. These are really 
life lessons that I talk about in the book to try to bring um, some some reality to what's going on in the world today. So mm-hmm. it is available on Amazon. Um, that smiling face, that thumbs up guy, will happily I think sign this a book golf for club. you. Um, I think that was when we were at the uh, top golf. The top golf. Yeah, it looks like yeah? it's a bit of you and I did crop me out. Oh, you cropped you out. Perfect. That's, Perfect. That's pre thumb well injury, done. I think. Well done. I don't want you to see certain slides. That's why. Got it. Noted. So yeah, please grab a <laughs> grab a copy of the book, everybody. I'd be be happy to discuss it with you. Uh, certainly give me a review after you do read it. That would be something that is wonderful as well. So, so why don't we take them home? All right. Give them a quote of the day to go home with. Um, this is a quote. It's a selfish quote. I did selfish it for myself. Quote. Um, we all need people who will give us feedback. That's how we improve. Hmm. Bill Gates. Why do you call that selfish? Um, because, I mean, it's, it's something that I'm currently working on right now. Um, trying to not take, you know, not criticism, but critique uh-huh. so personally, more take it on a broader level of people are trying it's to growth. help yeah. you. Not Everyone's not always out to attack you. So yeah. it's my... It's, it's my, growth. And uh-huh. the mentorship that we are doing, I mean, uh-huh. just, you know, my, my work with Amy and, and growing her and teaching her, it's amazing how much of a, a sponge she is to uh, gain this knowledge and, and hear the some of the negative things and, and twist those into just using them to grow mm-hmm. and, and recognizing what, like you said, what you don't know. And you don't know what you don't know. Correct. And that's what's awesome. And that's in the book as well. I mean, there's a, I wrote an entire chapter on you don't know what you don't know. And it's really, it, it just makes your head go, huh, that's right. And, and, it, and there's so many factors to that, and, and I think that that quote goes, goes very well with that. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'll, I'll give you the quote that will eventually get to become something that is, is believable and real for you, is uh, succeed relies on the second letter. So, Brittany's trying to spell <laughs> it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Do we need to write it for you? You. You. I got it. You. <laughs> The light bulb went off. <laughs> oh my God, she's she's quick to write questions that can you know you know, throw us under the bus. She's quick to throw pictures up there. If only she's we had a there. video of but Brittany right boy, now. Boy, she just couldn't spell succeed. Succeed relies on the second letter. Let's just let that marinate. Okay, great, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-huh. This has been another episode of Title Talk. We we thank you guys for tuning in and we we look forward to doing this for you guys again next week Mm -hmm. Um, please if there's any questions comments if there's something that you guys want to talk about if there's something you want to know or learn in the industry please you know send us a note uh, send us an email give us a holler we're always here for you guys we are the title company that cares my name is drew and my name is amy thanks guys until next week see you bye see you (laughs) Well, there you have it. That is it for this week's edition of Title Talk. Be sure to head over to our Inspired YouTube page and subscribe and like. And make sure you follow the team on Instagram and Facebook. Join us again next time for more tips and knowledge from the industry pros. Thanks again for listening.